I love speech one. That's, that's why I've been joining for the last few years already. The attitude of everyone is very inspiring, very, very light, and it, it simply reminds us that there's more to the world than just our own little world in our heads. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, I'm not here to push you forward to greater heights. Not here to tell you that there are better things in life. Nor am I here to tell you that you should keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I'm here not to tell you to slow down. The need to succeed has driven me my entire life. Whenever I feel down, I listen to inspirational speeches, motivational speeches, inspiring stories. Fail forward, never give up. Get up, follow your dreams, it will happen someday. Move forward. It became a drug. Every time I needed, every time I felt down, my mind and my body prayed for it. I pushed hard until my body wanted to give up. Even harder until my mind just wanted to give. Coffee, well, it didn't matter. Success, as of you all heard, is just around the corner. I just need to push myself just a little more. Just a little more. Coffee became my best friend. Ah, coffee. But it was degraded to a simple tool, something just to keep me up for the rest of the day. It wasn't until the day that I felt my worst, when I was really down, when no amount of motivation or inspirational books could give me up. And I didn't even bother listening to the advice of my friends. But I said, you raised my hands and surrender and said, I know. It's odd how the decision to give up feels. For one thing, it clears your head. It makes you think about the things that are important to you. Was that when I was there drinking my coffee? I suddenly remembered my grandfather. I don't know why my grandfather wasn't famous. He wasn't successful by most people's terms. He never built empires, he never led people. But he was, he was simple, he was very rational. But he was content and he was happy. I remember him fixing us both a cup of coffee. And as he drank his coffee, he gave me this advice. Never, never kiss girls with bad breath. <laughs> I didn't say it was useful advice. So we laughed until tears streamed down our eyes. He then slowed down and gave me some real advice. Now, one day, life will get tough. Don't give up. Remember the things that are important to you. And slow down once in a while. At 15 years old, the advice really didn't mean anything to me. I mean, all I heard was kiss a girl. That moment was 17 years ago. I tried to remember what it looked like, but I really can't. All I remember was that it was a good day. It's true that sometimes the value of the moment could never be realized until that moment has turned into a memory. I'm 33 now, and I try to live by that advice. Don't give up. But isn't that what I've been doing all my life? I felt guilty because under the pressure of trying to reach the top, I really wanted to give up. Remember what's important to you. Success was important to me. That's why I kept trying. Isn't success important? And finally, slow down. That was what I was missing. Only when I slowed down did I realize what I had missed. I started to look inside myself, ask questions, 
And today I remember it was extremely important to me. What's important to me is my family, my friends. But in the pace that I pushed myself, I drove my friends away. I drove my family away. But it is when I remember that my success was supposed to be for them. It was never for me. I wanted to be successful so I could spend more time with my friends. But in the process of trying to be successful, I lost time with the people I care about. I reached out to the friends I lost in touch with. Now when I ask them to share a cup of coffee, I'm not using coffee to get my day, to get through my day. I'm inviting them, I'm sharing time with them. Because really, time is one of the greatest gifts you can give to the people you care about. Fellow Toastmasters, when we share time to people, we also share them ourselves. So, this evening, I'd like to share a cup of coffee with you. Fellow Toastmasters, everyone, stand up and join me on a toast. <laughs> because practically, that's what people do. <laughs> A toast to our grandparents and to their sometimes weird advice. Yeah. <laughs> a toast to friends and to the time yes. that we share with them. Toast to girls with friends. And of course, a toast to girls with fresh bread. <laughs> here, here. May we have time, may we have all the time to meet them. Success, remember that success is just around the corner. Slow down. Here, here. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.